At Lane Prairie, we wanted to drop in and give you some updates on those that we've been praying for. Uh, we need to continue to pray for our pastor, Brother Jerry. He is scheduled for a PET scan on Thursday this week. And uh, we're praying specifically that the chemo treatments he has been taking are working as the doctors want them to work. And then uh, if everything's working as it should, he's scheduled for his next round of chemo this weekend. So you be in prayer for him and Andrea and the rest of the family during this time. We want to remember the family of Terry Dingler. That's Debbie Potter's brother-in-law. He passed away on Sunday. So remember his wife and the rest of the family during this time. We also want to remember Vicki Roy. She is going to be having her next round of chemo on the 22nd this week. And so remember her. And then also remember Billy Barrow on the 22nd as well. He's going to have an appointment with a, a neurosurgeon about his neck. So be in prayer for him. We also want to continue to remember Wayne Beheimer. As we told you last week, he finished up his uh, chemo treatments and uh, he had to have a little bit of potassium and stuff over the weekend, but he's doing much better and stronger right now. So we'll continue to pray for him. Uh, we also want to remember Ron Bednor as he re is receiving treatment for his cancer. Um, we want to continue to play, pray for uh, Glenn and Maureen Elder with their various health issues they've got going on. Just continue to remember them. Uh, we want to pray for Tanya Sheldon. Uh, she is going to be going in for an echocardiogram tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. They want to look at that aortic valve that they need to replace some more. So be in prayer for them and the doctors during this time. Uh, we want to continue to remember Edgar Hood. He's doing better, getting stronger day by day. Just pray that he would continue to be strengthened. Uh, we want to pray for uh, our, the Washer family. There are missionaries down in Madagascar, and so be in prayer as they are serving there for opportunities for them to continue to share the good news of Jesus Christ. And then finally this morning, we just want to brag on you, church. As you know, we've been in the midst of our Annie Armstrong Easter offering for North American missionaries. And as a church, we had set a goal of $6,000. And as of last week, we were a little under uh, $2,000 away from that. And I'm happy to say this week that after the offering was counted this morning, we are at $6,517. So thank you, church, for your generosity to give to support our North American missionaries. Uh, if you have not given yet, you can still do so. We're still receiving gifts. We'll send that in later uh, this month. But thank you so much for your generosity. And as always, if you have a prayer request, something we as a staff and the church body can be praying about for you, please don't hesitate to let us know in the comments or contact us.